Hey, I'm Dalton, and in this video, I'm going to be putting together a mini ITX PC that I've been wanting to build for quite some time. The only thing is, I'm not going to be building it in an off-the-shelf case that you can get, but rather, I'm going to be building it into this drawer. Now, obviously, this drawer isn't designed to have a PC built into it. A few things that already concern me a little bit is the clearance of this graphics card and this bottom material. Um, I'm not sure how strong it is. I know it's pretty thin. I'm using the MSI MPG C390i Gaming Edge AC, pairing that with an Intel Core i5 9400F and the MSI GeForce GTX 1660Ti Armor OC Edition. While I was waiting for all my parts to arrive for this build, I went ahead and tested the system just to make sure it would boot. Once the test was complete, I swapped out the stock CPU fan cooler for the Noctua NHL9i low profile CPU cooler. I installed the GPU to the riser cable and that to the motherboard so I could figure out the layout and clearance of the GPU. I had to remove the rear I.O. bracket on the graphics card to make sure it would mount horizontally onto the back of the drawer. Once I had the layout I wanted, I marked the spots where the easy lock inserts would sit to secure the motherboard and riser cable and started drilling into the drawer. Tim and Larry came over to judge my progress and brought along a Dremel to help cut holes for airflow. The plan was to pull air in from the bottom of the drawer and exhaust air out the back. We used the Dremel to cut two circular holes that were slightly smaller than the circumference of the fans and two squarish holes on either side where the riser cable was mounted. Even though there's a small lip between the back of the drawer and the tabletop, I figured these square holes would make it easier to exhaust the hot air generated by the CPU and GPU. Larry and Tim used a half inch drill bit to create the hole for the power button but the power button was slightly larger than the largest drill bit we had. Once the hole was created, they used the Dremel to widen the hole until the button fit. Using the 120mm fan filters as a reference, I drilled the screw mounting holes in each corner and cut two intersecting diagonal lines to find the center of the fan hole. Instead of using a Dremel to cut out the rear exhaust holes, I picked up a 4 inch hole saw that expedited the process. To secure the fans, I simply used 632 machine screws and nuts that I bought from my local Home Depot. Two more holes were needed in the drawer to secure the power supply, and I used L brackets to keep it in place. The drawer PC was almost complete, except for one glaring oversight. Because this is a mini ITX motherboard, there aren't many fan headers available, and I had picked up four individual Corsair ML120 Pro RGB fans not a 3-pack and one single. This meant that there was no Corsair fan hub or RGB controller for my fans and I couldn't find where to buy them separately that wasn't from a third party or what I thought was overpriced. In the end, I bought an 8-port fan hub splitter from Silverstone to make sure my ML120s could at least provide airflow to the system. All that remained was to secure the rest of the components into their final position. When I was planning this project, I made the decision to not pay any attention to cable management or how the system looked due to time and cost. My goals were simply to learn what was necessary to securely mount computer components into wood, make sure it didn't overheat, and to complete this project as soon as I could. Temperature wise, I left the system on for about an hour running on idle and the CPU hit you know, between mid to high 30s and the GPU was sitting around 38 degrees Celsius. I then went into Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Rainbow Six Siege, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, set the graphics settings to max, and ran the benchmarks. Here's how each game performed. Rainbow Six Siege had an average FPS of 196, Shadow of the Tomb Raider had an average FPS of 76, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey had an average FPS of 54. I went on to play a few games of Apex Legends and the temps actually came out to around 50 degrees Celsius for both the CPU and GPU. Granted, I did check these temperatures right after I was done gaming so I don't know if that was enough time for it to cool down a little bit by a few degrees, so take these numbers with a grain of salt. So the desk drawer PC is now complete. 
If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching, and I hope to do this again soon. If you're looking for a new computer for this new school year, check out some of MSI's back to school deals. We've got creator laptops, gaming laptops, and more. Learn more in the link in the description.